Hey everyone, welcome back to Warner Science. In today's video, I'll be discussing a topic by the Medical News Today. Um, it's basically how new research helps explain why people move slower as they get older. This is common knowledge that as people get older, they tend to move slower just compared to our grandparents. We tend to move faster. The younger children, the younger adults tend to move faster than their older parents and grandparents. So this is just a research by the Colorado Institute about the science behind why our body tends to get slower as we age. So the University of Colorado Boulder says that new research suggests that older adults may move slower partly because it costs them more energy than younger adults. Like I said, as humans get older, our movements naturally just start to slow down and everyone knows this. And it's it could be because of a slower metabolism or loss of muscle mass and just becoming overall less active in our daily lives. But the Colorado Institute suggests that more energy it costs more energy for them to do these activities than younger adults and scientists believe that these findings could lead to new diagnostics for tools for diseases such as parkinson's and multiple sclerosis as these are big movement diseases um so this study can be really beneficial in the scientific field and the medical field as to why these diseases are are the cause the root cause of the diseases and maybe seeing how you can possibly use this as a tool for finding a cure or prevention method in order to prevent such diseases from occurring in the future generations. So a quote from one of the scientists completing this, completing this study at the University of Colorado Boulder, he explained to the Medical News Today, he said, with age our muscles use, muscle cells may become less efficient in transforming energy into muscle, muscle force and ultimately movement. He's basically saying that as we get older, it's going to be more difficult for us to, for our cells to transform the energy that we have into strong muscle impact and force compared to the younger children, which in turn will basically limit the amount of movement that we are able to have in our daily lives. That's why we see how our grandparents tend to be much slower than if we were to run a marathon for that, for an example like that. So basically their cells aren't able to tr convert their energy into a strong muscle force and allow for movement. And research, researchers believe that their findings may help lead to new diagnostics tools for movement-related disorders, like I said, which can impact multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, other major diseases like that, basically trying to find the root cause behind it. Um, and additionally, aside from these different movement disorders, it can be caused by neurological disorders. That's one of another big things that causes our movement to slow down. So that can be another beneficial thing. We can try to do some more research. So definitely more research needs to be done, but this just provides a hypothesis to why slower people, how people slow down as they get older. So it's just one hint as to why basically our body is slowing down and progressing, in, negatively progressing in our movement functioning. So this just makes mostly a hypothesis but it definitely needs to be more in-depth research. And it's a great topic to look more into because I find this very interesting. So I'll put the link in the description to the medical news. There's definitely some more research and some more LinkedIn follow-up articles that are similar to the one that I just discussed. So if you find this article interesting, and I hope you did, you can take a look at that article and see if you find something else new that you want to research. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next video.